Today we are going to be working with sensory. We are going to be making dinosaur fizz eggs. For the dinosaur fizz eggs, you'll need some baking soda, food coloring, water, some bowls to mix with, either an ice cube tray or you can make the eggs yourself, a fork, some dinosaurs, if you don't have dinosaurs, any little figurine, any little animal that you could fit into an egg packet, um, a tray, some little cups, and vinegar. All right, let's get started. So in a bowl, you are going to pour your baking soda into the bowl and usually I do the whole box I'm going to add whatever kind of food coloring you want I'm gonna do green so I went ahead and added a few drops of green food coloring and you can add as little as or as much as you want depending upon the color that you desire. Then you're gonna gradually add water. You don't want to add too much water. So you're gonna slowly mix it in. And the consistency you wanna have, a little bit crumbly would be better. I'm gonna add a little bit more water in there because it's almost to the consistency that I want. Color. But you can make as many colors as you like. Opening up the baking soda and making another color. I'm gonna add it to the bowl. I'm gonna use blue. Again, you could add as little bit or as much as you want as far as the color and mix it. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it. Keep mixing and I'll be back to show you what I'm going to do next. So now we're gonna clear your area a little bit. Move the water and everything else. And now you're gonna bring your ice cube trays and you're gonna pack in some of the baking soda. And, and I'm gonna make a little bit of a hole inside. Pack them in as much as I can, and I'm gonna add a, a turtle. And then I'm going to get some of the blue, press it all together, Pack it in. I'm gonna add a little bit more green to the top. Pack it in again. And you're gonna do this until the whole tray is filled. I'm also gonna show you another way to do it. You grab some of the baking soda in the palm of your hand. And um, let's see, I'm gonna use an alligator. You pack around the alligator until you get like an egg shape.
So now that it's all packed up and ready to go, you can put this in the fridge, freezer or fridge for a few hours while the children are napping. And then when they are up, you can use this as an afternoon sensor activity. And I'll show you what to do next. After they have been sitting for a while in the freeze, freezer or fridge, you can take them out and put them on a tray. So that's what I'm going to do. And you gotta do this gently because sometimes it will break. This one broke a little bit, but that's okay. You can always put it on the side and you can grab your vinegar, open it up, put it in a little small glass or container, sit it right by the area or even inside. So today I'm going to be using a straw and I don't have any like hammers or kid hammers you can use but I'm going to use a spork. So you grab some of the vinegar either with a spoon or a fork or a hammer whatever you like to use, whatever is available to you. And I'm gonna use this as a dropper. And slowly but surely, the children will be able to discover what happens when you mix vinegar with baking soda. What does it feel like? What does it look like? Ask the children questions. You can dig with it. Let the children have fun exploring and finding their animals. All right, I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.